I'm back with another unboxing from iHavanas.com. iHavanas specializes in premium, authentic Cuban cigars and they ship worldwide. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the Romeo and Juliet Belvedere. Uh, these are uh, 4.9 inches long, uh, a 39 ring gauge. I believe they're considered a, a short Panatella. This is a dress box of 25. I think the cigar uh, was machine made up until uh, the early 2000s and uh, I do know that they used to come in at the uh, cello or the cellophane. Today they are all handmade with uh, tobacco from the Vuelta Abajo region which is uh, definitely a plus and of course the the Romeo and Juliet uh, line is a flagship brand of Habanos SA and uh, of course named after uh, Shakespeare's tragedy Romeo and Juliet. They were officially established in 1875 uh, that, that's why if you see the band on any Romeo and Juliet that says uh, Desde, uh, 1875. Uh, but of course, uh, it's kind of commonly known, uh, predates that and was around since at least the mid 1800s. And of course, that ENE -E is the Spanish abbreviation for January. So January 2021 uh, means that these cigars have about uh, one and a half years of age on them, which is uh, a good start. So let's get this box opened. I'm excited to open these. And if you love premium, authentic Cuban cigars as much as I do, please take a minute to uh, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, your support is definitely appreciated. And as I open this box, you can see that the uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, Belvedere has a dark shade wrapper. Uh, pretty dark, actually. These are also rustic looking. Definitely some visible seams. Uh, some, they're kind of veiny and also blotchy. I did have a chance to smoke one of these recently. Uh, when I opened one the other day to smoke one, uh, they did seem uh, pretty humid and uh, some were a little too spongy, uh, but I did pick one that felt right. Uh, the cigar I smoked was oily, which was nice, and uh, uh, the first third started off very rich. Uh, a, a nuttiness, some wood, and some sweet coffee, which was really nice. Um, I did notice that this cigar tasted uh, noticeably better uh, with the retrohale, and that was for all three thirds. Uh, the, fin the finish on the palate was satisfying or pleasant at times, but definitely too short overall, which is one of my pet peeves. Uh, but with this cigar, I didn't seem to mind it as much for some reason. Uh, the cigar had a tighter draw, uh, but a good volume of smoke, and the burn was straight on, so the, the construction overall was good. Uh, into the second third, there was a little bit of ammonia, uh, but luckily that kind of came and went. The cigar uh, was a little less rich and sweet, but still had a good amount of uh, wood and coffee notes. And into the last third, the cigar did heat up a little bit and uh, there was still some wood and coffee notes, uh, enough to make it uh, still kind of enjoyable. Uh, I, I will say this cigar smoked for uh, 45 minutes, but I did put it down uh, with about uh, an easy 10 or 15 minutes left. I, I didn't smoke it to the very nub. I'm pretty optimistic about this cigar. I'm excited that I have this box for sure. I think in another year or so, these things are going to be really good. And uh, especially with the uh, impending uh, price hikes that we're hearing about with Cuban cigars, I'm happy I've been sn snatching up a lot of boxes like this. So um, thanks again to iHavanas.com and thanks again to all you guys for watching.